fourth spot. The first standing was <laughs> you guys didn't let that bother you. Came back and got a two, and I guess that that gave you guys a little uh, little momentum for the rest of the game. It did, you know, and then you know you definitely don't want to give up a four spot, but uh, we did. Uh, and then a lot of times when that happens, you just try to tell your team, don't look at the scoreboard. Let's try to cut the lead in half right here. Uh, we had some big hits in that uh, first inning. John Geisler, just a uh, really great night for him. Matthew Ellis, great night. And, uh, and we just kind of kept, you know, hanging around. It's not easy. They have a very good uh, bullpen. I know their starter uh, wasn't able to go. Uh, so we saw a lot of their best bullpen arms. So to keep getting runs off of their good bullpen's arm, uh, you know, is good for us. And we needed to do it and uh, ended up getting a win on a Friday. That fourth inning was big for your team, too. Wiley was able to get out of the inning without any damage, and then you turned it over to your, your veteran bullpen. Yeah, Riley was key there. I mean, he, uh, he, he, like you said, he got us out of the inning, got us off the field, and then I felt like Brown had really great stuff. Uh, ben King was Ben King uh, of old here tonight. And then Thomas, even though he gave up a run, uh, was just really good there in the ninth inning. And uh, just, you know, we needed it, and, uh, and we were able to get it. Of course, those runs you scored in the eighth took some pressure off the plate last night. No question. I mean, some big, uh, big at-bats there in the, uh, in the eighth inning, and, uh, and it just made it a lot easier, and you could breathe a little bit going into the ninth. You're talking about their lineup. You know, I mean, those stats, <laughs> top to bottom, but they really did a good job on Garcia tonight. He's a great player. I mean, there's so many good freshmen in our league right now, and uh, uh, you know, and that's a testament to our league, and you know, to all the coaches in the league that's recruiting these guys and developing these great freshmen. And you know, we have a great one in Burris, and uh, you know, they they have a great one as well. You made a couple of so-called subtle changes in the order tonight. You know, what went into that? Just kind of just looking at a lot of different things in terms of. You know, OPS on base average, who hits lefties, who hits righties. A lot of that was done thinking that we were getting Sam Tucci, and then when that didn't, didn't happen, we'd already put the lineup in. It just we just had to go with it. But you know, Geisler's been red hot, uh, so it just felt like you know, put him in the uh, in the four hole. We dropped Cam Jones a down pipe. Maybe wouldn't have done that if we didn't know we were going to face uh, righties. But that, that, like I said, it had been set before the game, and uh, we had to go with it. Of course, it's important to, you know, you'd rather win that first game of the series than lose it, and that's, that was a big win, and of course, it's against a team that has has a pretty good uh, ranking in the RPI, so that really helped your team. No, no doubt. There's so many great teams in our league. Duke's one of them. You know, they've, uh, you know, had a great, they've had a lot of great years, and uh, they're very good again this year, and we have one win. We're happy about that, but, you know, we have two more games to play. I guess you got to feel pretty good. You have a veteran like him on the mound. Yeah, you know, he's been very good for us and you know, and he loves to compete. So, yeah, we're uh, we're excited about, you know, the opportunity for him to get out there and compete for us. Yeah, um, we prepared pretty hard for Santucci and found out that he tweaked something or got injured before. Um, I think Matt Matt Taylor told us in the in the meet, in the mound meeting in the first inning. Um, but yeah, they threw they threw a guy who I saw last year. Um, so and I think I got hit off him last year. I felt pretty comfortable against him. I think I hit his I hit his changeup out first inning. Um, just looking for a fastball and reacted. Um, they got a great. They got a great staff. Um, I got. I think I got a lot of good pitches to hit tonight, and I didn't miss. So that's that's really why I had some you know success tonight. What was so tough to hit a thirty one out there against the last pitcher? Yeah, um, and he's a he's a big dude. I think you know I had, he was throwing like ninety eight, ninety nine last year. I think he's a little down right now. Um, he's a big guy, and he gets way down the mound. He's got some serious extensions, so the ball just kind of appears out of nowhere. You know. Um, so you really got to see the ball down because he's good. He's good up, um, and yeah, I just I was I think I was a little late on the fastball, but I, that was one that I hit down the line there. The release of the ball, it, it was deceiving too. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that guy's that guy's a legit. That guy's a legit arm. Um, especially when it gets dark, it gets a little harder to see it. So um, yeah. They score four in the first game. Yeah, huge. I mean, we uh, we pride ourselves on being a momentum-based team. I'm Mo Jacks, that's who we are. Um, and so, yeah, just being able to get those two runs in the first inning to you know to show the team like like look, the Duke's here. They're a good team, but you know we're here too, and we're good too. So this is going to be a dogfight, um, which it was. Of course, tonight you guys had had a historic pace. Uh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Tyson was flawless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he always is. He's 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 so good. Um, and that, that double play, I think, it was in the eighth inning. That was that was huge. First and second, nobody out. Chatty to Green, um, to me at first, that was that was huge. That was, you know, he can be fooled one time off of a dirty head, and the next time. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, he swings that big stick. Um, especially when he's, you know, they'll bring in they bring in a lot of righties against us, and you know, he gets up against a righty. You know, you don't really, unless the guy's got a super good changeup, it's pretty tricky to get him out. Um, we know that, and teams know that too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's he's a dangerous hitter, and I wouldn't want to throw to him if I was a pitcher. Five games left in the SEC. Tomorrow they go to Big Ten. Mm -hmm. That's the battle. What an asset. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've gonna, we got five games left, but we'll take it one day one day at a time. Um, you know, we everyone does the numbers in their head about you know getting into a regional and whatnot, but you know we're taking one game at a time. And after Duke, before we play Florida State, we're going to focus on beating Mercer because we need to, you know, keep ourselves rolling. The players check RPI. I don't think that type of thing is described in the class. Uh, some guys, others do more than, um, like, I don't at all. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't even watch college baseball. Like guys are always like watching, watching other teams in the league, and like you know, I like rooting for some guys, but um. Yeah, I, I I don't watch I don't watch any other guys. I don't, I don't I don't I don't even know the name of the guy we're facing tomorrow. But you know we're gonna look at him uh, tonight and we'll be ready to go for him tomorrow. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah. The scouting report for the staff going into this game. I mean, you look up and down the line, a bunch of three hundred hitters. Yeah, uh, mostly what we've been doing is trying to keep it pretty simple, not trying to really paralysis by analysis and just get overall trends of our lineup and you know they like to swing they're really good hitters up and down the lineup but really just get ahead early like we've been trying to do all year and then expand the zone a little bit because they do like to swing you have some hitters that you know like to maybe take a pitch or two see what you're throwing and and some of them are a little like to be aggressive what, what was your what were you seeing out there tonight yeah i mean they were pretty pretty aggressive but i'd say it's just always being aggressive in the zone and things will go well you know no matter what even no matter the tendencies if you're Aggressive and you're really in the zone, doesn't matter. Riley comes in with a double that fourth inning and closes the way for the end of the night. How big is that? Oh, that was huge out of him for sure to get out of that inning. Um, you know, Finney struggled a little bit, but the bullpen having his back today was really good, really big. Put yourself in, in Brett's place going out there in the ninth. How, how much easier was it for him to have those two runs towards the eighth inning? Having those extra runs is huge, knowing that you don't have to be so fine and so perfect. It definitely lifts a little bit of a of a weight on off your shoulders for sure. I'm not sure exactly how he felt, but I know that would it definitely felt that way for me. But also when you're competing, it's you treat it the same way. You know, you treat it like it's you're only up one or you're tied just to you know get yourself the best chance to succeed. You look at the at the uh, pitchers that Coach Burr had in the bullpen, all veteran guys. Yes, sir. It's that time of year. I imagine you guys are, are ready to just take the ball. Yes, sir. Hopefully, that's the that's the goal. Of course, is that we'll you know, we won't have to make the younger guys who don't have as much experience. You know, we won't have to lean on them as much as we, you know, should. So, good job out of us today. But tomorrow we got to do it again. What was what pitchers was it for you? All of them felt pretty good today. But I mean, the fastball was good in the zone a lot. That's that's all I'm all I focus on is just being in the zone. Nice. Yes, sir. That was that was always nice. I I thought he might have hit it. I thought he hit it pretty hard, and I was like, look back, and I saw he caught it. So I was like, Phew. that's always you get your first out, no matter what. It takes a huge weight off your shoulders. Like, okay, I'm good. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you.